Today we're diving on the wreck of the Shale Scow. This wreck lies in 12 to 15 feet of water about three quarter miles southeast of the Elk Rapids Harbor. Before I show you the dive, I must first cover access. This dive is boat only in practice since the nearest public beach is over half a mile away. The coordinates can be seen on screen or in the description. In theory, the wreck could be accessed from shore since it's only 350 yards away, which is comparable to the Uber wreck. I made a video on that one last year, and I'll just briefly mention it's 5 miles to the south for those who haven't seen it. However, one would have to know the owner of a nearby property in order to do the shore dive. With that out of the way, let's get to the dive. Now that you've seen some of the wreck, I'll take this opportunity to mention some history. The Shale Scow sank in 1903 carrying a cargo of, you guessed it, shale. This scow is around 80 feet long and about 20 feet wide. By the way, its original name remains a mystery as of 2018. By the way, I should mention that there's a lot of debris near the wreck. This debris confused us at the beginning of the dive since we anchored the boat a little north of the wreck where a lot of it can be found. Personally, I recommend you anchor directly on top of the wreck if that is possible. If you have been watching this video closely, you might realize we were not wearing wetsuits. I strongly recommend you do so because I was quite cold after just 40 minutes in the water, despite it being the middle of summer. I think most people would find this water to be worse than I did since I'm accustomed to the colder water. 